Hey folks, I want to talk to you about the sum of squares and difference of squares. And I need to first point out the formula. So for sum of squares, a plus b, all of that being squared, results in this thing. But if you don't believe me, let's go over that real quick, right? a plus b, all squared, is the same as a plus b times a plus b, right? a plus b squared means it happens twice. Then I could use the distributive property on this, right? I could distribute an a, get a times a gets me a squared. A times B gets me plus AB. B times A, if I write them alphabetically, AB. And then B times B gets me B squared. And then I can combine my two middle terms that are like terms. I get 2AB plus B squared, which is kind of nice now, right? That is this formula, but that just means I can clean some stuff up. Instead of distributing all this out, I could notice, oh, that's the same as this three and three, and they're both pluses in the middle, awesome. That means I can use this formula and do a little bit of a cheat. So that a squared means my first thing in my set of parentheses squared. So two x squared. My next thing says two times a, which is the first thing in my parentheses, and b, which is the second thing in my set of parentheses. So two times two x times the three plus b squared. B is my last thing in my parentheses. So in this case, not B, it's three squared. Two so X all squared gets me four, because I square the twos and I square the X and get X squared. Next thing I multiply all that, two times two is four, times three is 12 X, and then three squared is nine. I know that might not seem terribly um, helpful, but it can be. Uh, one of the ways that I try and remember this is, um, let me erase some of these things, clean it up a little bit for you. When you're doing this, you square the first thing, you double or two times your first thing times your second thing, and then you square your second thing. So you square it, double it, square it again. Okay, so square it, double it, and the doubling it is the two things multiplied together, and then you square the last term. Uh, let's go and do another one that's a little bit more challenging. And they actually wrote it for you differently, right? 2x minus 4y squared, all squared. Well, it's important for you to remember, that just means that's 2x minus 4y squared times 2x minus 4y squared. And again, you could distribute all this out, combine like terms, do all of that, or you could recognize that it's this formula here. Oh, sorry, that should be a plus. That should be a plus, and that should be a plus. Uh, so I'm changing the original there because I uh, accidentally wrote a minus. All right, but we fixed that, awesome. Now I can square the first thing in my parentheses. So two x all squared, double first thing times my second thing, and then I square my last thing. Four y squared, and that's all squared. So this thing, 2 squared gets me 4, x squared is x squared, 2 times 2 is 4, times 4 is 16, y squared, there it just comes down, and then I have to square all of this, 4 squared is 16, y squared, all squared, remember that's power of powers, which is y to the fourth, and I'm done. It's a little bit less work, I think at least. Then we have difference of squares, so if I have two things that are both squared, they're being subtracted they can break up like this. Or if they're broken up, I can simplify them like that. Which means I just square the thing in front minus squaring the thing in back. So uh, this is set up just like that, awesome. I can use difference of squares. My thing in front is x, so that's I square the thing in front. And then I square the thing in back, the thing in back is four, so that's 16. And then there's subtraction in the middle. Awesome, that's done. I could use distributive property and verify this. The cool part is, um, if you do that, you get x squared uh, plus 4x minus 4x plus 16, and those middle two terms end up canceling, which is really cute. Let's do this one, because this is where it starts to become very helpful, right? I first check that's the same, fronts are the same, so backs are the same. One has a plus and one has a minus, so now I can shortcut it. So I'm going to take my thing in front, 3x squared, and I need to square that. And I'm going to subtract the thing in back and square it. And I distribute that square to both of these things. So 3 squared is 9x squared raised to the second power. So that's power of powers. You're going to multiply 2 times 2 and gets me 4. Minus 4 squared is 16. 
y squared is y squared. Done again. And that's all I have for you folks. Hopefully this was helpful and I hope all of you have a great rest of your day.